Hi, um, my name's Tom Brown. We're uh, uh, really lucky to be here on the opening day of the Spey here at Tolkien Beat. Beautiful morning, bit of snow this morning, but uh, the chill's gone. Lovely morning. We're here uh, testing out the new Hardy Zephyrus rod, 15 foot. Um, be getting launched soon. Uh, very, very nice rod. Easy to use. Just thrown out this line really nice. Hey, I'm part of the Spey Online team. Um, Ian brings a lot of guests in from abroad, uh, has England everywhere, um, so it's great to do a good service picking them up for the airport stuff and most of them like a wee trip round the distilleries up here which is really good, ties in well with the fishing, especially on sunny days, but uh, no, the distilleries are great for them and to be involved in that as part of the fishing trip, uh, they just love it, goes doing really well with the foreign guests, I uh, really like that. It's really uh, great for the Scottish Tourist Board, um, all these guests coming, you know, Ian's bringing people in as far as Japan, Germany, from all over really, so it's really good. Let's them see a bit of Scotland and uh, I hopefully have a great holiday. Catch a few fish. Opening day on the River Spey, I'm with my very good friend. Claire Mercenaire. Good morning, Claire. Good morning, Anne. We're so lucky today. We are. Tolkien, opening day, on the spay. So we, we came from the tea, because I uh, managed to beat on the tea, um, Macro and mm -hmm. House. But I love the spay. Enough. I mean, mm -hmm. I love all rivers in Scotland, but the tea, the spay, I think they are it's my favourite. And this is your second time here, isn't it? Yes. You and I hope it's not the last one. Eh? Oh. <laughs> but last year when you came, you, you did actually have, you had some fun with fish on. Yeah, so I have a finnock. It felt like a big one, but nearly it was a little finnock, but still, yeah. the heart was beating, oh, which well, is what you want on a funning day. And that's the most important. And, oh, and also as well is that it is just a beautiful beat. That oh, we're on. We're so lucky. We're so lucky. And beautiful. the mountain, the snow, mm -hmm. the sun. And now we need a fish. We do. And what, what, what are you actually using today? You've got a... a well, my favourite is my Vision Catapult, mm -hmm. 14 foot. Yeah. And that I use pretty much everywhere. And Vision Reel and Rio AFS Boom. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I've just changed to the first, for us, the first sinking yes. uh, tip. And... Is that a Caledonia fly? A Caledonia fly. Nice and heavy. Looks beautiful in the water. And um, I had earlier on something more orangey. Mm -hmm. I thought let's go for black and yellow. Very much and so. Uh, so let's, we're going fishing. Tight lines. Tight lines. <laughs> what are your top tips for salmon fishing in springtime, Tom? Well, I, I would say one of the big things is that suddenly you're, you're, you're uh, facing uh, sink tips, mm -hmm. heavier lines and bigger flies yep. um, from when you finished up at the end of the season. Mm -hmm. and, um, just just get a wee bit practising before you actually hit the river. Would you just get a bit more used to it. Would you actually recommend going on, um, a, say, a one-day course? Because I know, I know you do some yeah, one-day taster or refresher days. Yeah, people on... that's not familiar with that type of fishing or, uh, or casting, mm -hmm. um, they'll not do any harm um, rather than plodding away through the year. And it's just about loading the rod and learning to load that rod up and where to put that fly so that it's safe. You know, it's, uh, it's pretty handy. The, the, the wind's a huge factor in oh, casting. Gosh. You know, anybody that... Uh, and, and it's learning all these different casts so that uh, you're, uh, it makes your day enjoyable no matter what the conditions are because... Uh, they're dangerous things and we should be wearing glasses, I'm not speaking about that, but... Uh... Hang on, there you go, <laughs> hold on to my rod. Am I okay? I've now got okay glasses now, on, yeah, thank you. For you but... there we go. Okay. Thank you. Here we are again, on the at the end of the, a really great opening day in the River Spey. Uh, I tend to love this uh, opening of the river, I've always done, since I was a young boy actually. I loved coming down and just getting the feeling of the river after spending the winter um, thinking about it all. And nowadays we come up here to Tolkien, it's a sort of middle beat on the River Spray. And I think at this time of the year, early spring, we've got a great chance of catching a fish pretty much anywhere along 
the length of the river to be quite honest. So we come up to this fantastic beat with a whole load of friends and we just have a great fun day. Looking forward, what I tend to do is think about my spring fishing in three different categories. I think about the early spring fishing, which is right now. So I mean if I go in here today and I catch uh, a few kelts and I'm not actually looking, I'm not physically looking for a spring fish today. However, on the spay here, by the end of March, I'm coming down here and I'm looking for a fish. So that's, that's getting into the middle part of the spring fishing. And then as March rolls into April, April rolls into May, that's coming to high season spring fishing. So my tactics change, everything's great. And it's totally different fishing. You've got big runs of multi-sea winter fish coming and you've got people coming from all over the world to enjoy this fabulous, fabulous scenery and nature that we have in the River Spey here. It is just a fabulous place. When we move on from the spring to the summer fishing, that brings with it all different aspects of fishing and the nature changes again into the autumn fishing and so it brings circle all the way around and we've got fish here at every time of the year for everyone to enjoy. So again, we're on the, the Tolkien beat at the River Spey here, and yeah, this is actually where I take a, a lot of students that for a number of years we've had from Norway on an exchange visit. And it's a fantastic program we're running here because it gives um, students aged between 18 and 20 years old a chance to come and fish, but not, not only to fish here, but to learn to fish and learn about the culture, the history, all the techniques that we use when salmon fishing. And for me it's just magic to encourage younger people onto the river. And all the beats up and down the river are right behind this now. So I think getting youngsters into the river, getting youngsters with a rod in their hand, showing them the right techniques, showing them how much fun it can be, because it can be seriously good fun. Last year we had one of the guys in the Norwegian group, he caught a 23 pound salmon, he came here in April, caught a 23 pounder, he was delighted, absolutely over the moon. And it's seeing these guys with a smile on their face, introducing them to salmon fishing, which we've got an abundance of, not only here on the River Spey, but all over Scotland. It just is such a fantastic thing. And it's something that I think from a health perspective too, that young people should get out and enjoy, because we've got it in abundance here in Scotland.